Welcome to the Potter Blog site, February 27, 2014. The WIP ventilation system is unstable. This is the only thing standing between you inhaling a buku amount of plutonium in the next release is this WIP ventilation system. It's also the only thing currently, we hope, preventing further buildup of uh, hydrogen, methane, and VOCs that could lead to an additional explosion. Now we had uh, warned in an earlier post that we didn't think their HEPA system could uh, withstand the explosion that occurred. Apparently we were right because in a press conference today they said that they were working on stabilizing the ventilation system. Uh, we have the exact quote, we actually even have a, a clip of the audio. Uh, they've put up a scaffolding system right by next by the exhaust uh, filter building. They say they want to make sure to do is that we stabilize our mine ventilation system. They have experts already on site. They even built a mock-up. That shows you how important this is. They built a mock-up before they did anything. And he's letting us know that they're going to do this quite rapidly within the next few days. So we consider this a single point failure. Be prepared to evacuate. You know, there's a reason the Air Force Base in Albuquerque ordered 1,200 radiation suits six days after this mine basically let out a huge plutonium release. It can happen again and be much, much worse. Now here's the, uh, the audio that somebody has uh, posted kindly on site. We're going to play a short clip, just a very short clip of it, where a uh, fair use clip, where you will hear the, the gentleman say, that uh, they're trying to stabilize the ventilation system. So this is this is the the scaffolding that we have set up, right by where our exhaust filter building is. So the first step that we want to make sure to do is that we stabilize our mine ventilation system, and we have the experts already on site that's been working on this. We actually built mockups before they showed up uh, on site to make sure that you know once we establish this at the facility, it's going to work. Okay, so once we work on this and, and get this thing done, and, and I'm letting you know that we're going to do this uh, quite rapidly, okay, within the next few days. Then, So within the next few days is the high risk period for this system just letting loose. You know, as, as we posted in an earlier post, we saw a risk of uh, backdraft causing another explosion of this. I'm not sure if that's exactly the right term what's going on here because of the VOCs and methane and uh, hydrogen buildup that's also occurring but it is clear that their ventilation system was damaged by the initial explosion that caused this release. The second explosion out of this thing could be much worse or even if there was no explosion but they hosed up on doing this ventilator work there could be another big release. Be prepared to evacuate quickly. Have a P100 mask available. I don't even know if they're still available in uh, New Mexico. It's a very dangerous time. It is unbelievable that nobody at this press conference picked up on the fact that the only thing quote unquote keeping the public safe from these uh, dental x-rays, uh, banana radiation, and airplane trip radiation coming out of this thing is a ventilator that's unstable there's an elevated risk of plutonium dispersal.